Welcome to day one of the 30 day small moves, big changes challenge. Today we're going to start with our shoulders. And I'm starting with our shoulders because our shoulders, chest, and upper back tend to be fairly under moved in our everyday life. We all kind of work with everything kind of in front of us at belly height, and we have sort of a downward looking gaze and a rounded shoulder. So we're going to start in this place, letting that go. So the first thing we're going to do is get a well-aligned torso before we start to move. And that's one of the reasons why I have you start in seated, because if we're in seated, we have a better awareness of the stillness of the pelvis and maybe the stillness of the rib cage. So the first thing you're going to do, put your hands on your knees and tuck your tail. So you're going to rock back into a little bit of a slouch and then rock forward into an arch. And you want to feel like the top of the pelvis is coming closer to the top of the thigh. You want to hold the pelvis there. So you imagine like you have little walnuts between the top of your pelvis and your thigh and you're trying to crack them, just gently. Once you've got your pelvis tipping forward, then you think about setting your ribs down a little bit. And we might notice as we try and settle the ribs, the pelvis wants to tuck back. So you're just trying to find the happy place between those things where you're neither puffing out your chest nor tucking your tail and slouching. You know that your arms hang down at your sides. In a neutral shoulder, the arm will hang shoulder, elbow, hip, kind of all in line. We're gonna make loose fists with our hands. Try and keep your elbows straight. Pick your shoulders up, forward, down, and back. Up, forward, down, and back. We always start forward is usually, and most of us, forward is going to feel a little bit easier. That's four. Again, watch that as you move your shoulder, your ribs aren't really moving, your elbows aren't really bending, and your pelvis is staying pulled forward. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax your hands. Recommit to a tipped pelvis, a settled rib cage. Now, what I notice in people is when we start to go into the backwards one, you're going to get more of an elbow bend. So we want to be a little bit more mindful as you pick your shoulders up and draw a circle back, that you're trying to keep your elbows straight, trying to keep your hands reaching down. It wouldn't be weird if your shoulders were noisy or crackly. It wouldn't be weird if it felt different one side to the other. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you do ten forward and ten backward, and you're gonna try and do that three times. And you could do them all in a row. You do three sets of ten and all in a row or you could space it out, 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, 10 in the evening, just trying to encourage a little bit more movement in the shoulders. Now, if you feel like you can't really feel the movement, you're not sure um, what's happening, or you just maybe want to add a little something to the movement, you could add light weight. So I have two five pound weights here. And the cool thing about the weight is sometimes having this little bit of extra weight makes it feel a little bit easier to find a neutral for torso. It's easier to tip your pelvis forward. It's easier to get your ribs to settle. And it's also maybe a little bit more obvious what's happening in the shoulder because you have something to move with and against. So you can try that. You can do some without hand weights, and then you can add a little hand weight, knowing that if you don't have a hand weight, it's fine. You could always just grab a can of soup or two cans of soup just to add a tiny little bit of load because it will change how this feels in the shoulder. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the following days in the 30-day challenge. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow.